All that for a booger wield. Hey, that's what they make grinders, right? Yeah. We're grinders, not welders. <laughs> What is going on my YouTube people? My name is Tim. I am the host of this channel and today we are going to paint the engine bay. But before we get into painting the engine bay, I got a couple of things I have to take care of on the tow rig and that involves cutting some stuff. Now, this is a newer truck and I am apprehensive on cutting it, but it is completely and totally necessary. Let me show you why. I end up putting 35s on the tow rig and it came out great but this whole crash bar here see where it's marked up it's rubbing so i'm just going to cut it here it has a bolt on top but for doing four things it hits the radiator support if you try to take the bolt out so you can't really just take the bolt out so before we get into today's video i'm going to fix the tow rig Basically, cut them in the front, pound them forward as best I could. I need a reciprocating saw to get behind in there. Did the same with the backs. Backs had a bigger, he was still rubbing there too. So, before it's done. And she looks good. All right, now we're moving on to the car. We are going to cut off as many unneeded tabs and little holes, and we're gonna fill them all up I think I'm gonna remove this piece, this piece here on here. Maybe, maybe not. It might just be just more work. If I need to get rid of it later, it kind of suck. But it actually has a nice little spot for a power block, so I can run all my power to this one little block. Yeah, and then that's a second one. We're gonna grind and fill. And Matthew's here for a little bit. For a little bit. And we're going to get moving. I don't know if I went over the colors. We're going to go with this crazy black stainless steel. It's got like a little like flake to it. And then we're going to go with an extreme pearl finish. Should come out pretty good. If not, oh well, it'll look better than what it does right now. Because it looks like do, do, do. Let's get to work. Real quick. We might not have a race car if we keep catching it on fire, but... Booger welds. Booger welds. So we're just doing the strut tower braces right now um, to give it a little bit more uh, rigidity because guess what? Sliding things in these strut towers do not go hand in hand. So we definitely went up here and just kind of wanted to cover the strut tower. Don't look into the camera. All that for a booger wheel. Hey, that's when they make grinders, right? Yeah. We're grinders, not welders. <laughs> That's DIY as you can get. This is Matt the welder. Likes to blow on things. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get this knocked out and then grind, grind, and grind, <laughs> grind and paint. All right, boys and girls. So mostly we have. So mostly we have a lot of this cleaned up. We have some tin foil. I like to use tin foil in hard to get spots. Uh, you don't want to get over spray on a couple things. Just put some tin foil on it. Uh, I think it's a lot easier than tape. <laughs> There's a, a lot of cleaning that's already gone down. I used a couple of prep sprays. Um, basically, I'm just going to spray over everything in here and not really care what it really gets on, except for the BCs and the SLR kit. Obvi. And then that right there, because that goes into the cabin. I got some nice seats in there that I don't want to get messed up. That does too. I'll probably put a, another piece on that as well. And then start spraying everything. Our first step is the prep spray. I'm going to use this Dupacolor automotive prep spray. And then I'm going to wipe everything down again. And then let that dry. 
Then we're going to go ahead and prime everything. Once I prime everything, we're going to put our first coat down of this black stainless steel from Rust-Oleum. This looks very cool. It's got like a little sparkle into it. When we're done with it, I'm going to put this clear pearl finish on it. Should come out cool. If not, oh well, 100 bucks down the drain. Lesson learned. You spray over everything. Everything that's gonna get painted, I'm spraying it. Up this. Oh, it's not ready. I might spray the outside of it. On the side. I got it. Seek this spot in there. And a whole lot of that. Not that bad. I'm not gonna be really worried about inside this thing. Like this. It's bad. All could be. How fast this is okay. Moving on. Hello, sir. There it goes. Okay, I have primed it. Looks good. I'm gonna let that dry. Look how much I sprayed. This booster. Oh well. Primer sprayed. Wait for it to dry. Probably about 30 minutes or so. And then we'll put the first coat. This is primed. It did alright. Looks good. Now we're gonna put this Rust-Oleum Black Stainless Steel on it. I probably should have just got steel it in black and just painted it, but here we are. Should we pour? I'm not the smartest individual. Probably should have been wearing a mask this whole time. But look how good this came out. This is like black chrome. It's going to look so good. I don't know if this does justice, man. It came out so freaking good. The SLR kit. Oh man. She's a beaut. Alright, the last step is to hit it with the clear. And I have this 1K clear from Duplicolor. I probably should have went with a 2K, but they only had a 1K in stock. And this is an extreme pearl finish. It should give it this extra crazy shine. Like it's not shiny enough. But 
let's get the clear on there and let's see what the finished product is. All right, so I've cleared it with the probe laser. That though you can barely tell for all those little issues of light. Clear. The same shepherd. It isn't so. This cube over right. I got it. Now I can drop the motor and there'll be okay. I'll have to worry about, hey, I want to paint the HP. Oh, uh, here he did. Guess what? It's spray painting. Oh. If you like the video, go comment, go sub, tell your friends about it, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.